All right, good morning. My name is Derek Arrowood. I'm honored to be the superintendent at Hamilton High School Corporation. Today is Wednesday, May 5th, 2024. This is, our, this is the 102nd monthly update for Hamilton High School Corporation. We are in Mrs. Bergen's um, classroom here at Hamilton Heights High School. I'm joined by my friend Chance. Chance is one of my biggest fans. Every time I see Chance, he says I want to be on the monthly update, so today is the day. Chance is going to graduate from Hampton Heights here in a couple weeks. He'll walk across the stage. There'll be a big, big cheer. Chance is also part of our unified track team. He is the best sprinter I've ever seen at a track meet. It is awesome to watch Chance run. Chance, a couple questions for you. Number one, what's your favorite thing about Hampton Heights? Um, what and doing what? Okay, work and doing work, great answer. Number two, what are you most looking forward to about graduation? Um, seeing my friends and Miss Emma, a.k.a. Miss Burton. Miss Bergen, Miss Emma, seeing them at graduation chance. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. Have a great day. You You're out of here. Go get them. See you at the next track meet. Yeah. Chance Williams, everybody. They're, they're even clapping for him. They've never done 102 monthly updates, never got a clap. Number one, five things you need to know. Number one, and there's way more than five this time, but we just celebrated our youth assistant program and our, uh, we celebrated our impact awards. These are kids from each grade level that have overcome some, some adversity and we wanted to recognize them at the end of the year. This year we held, held it at the middle school. The last couple of years we held it at Bex. It is awesome and inspiring. The kids are done, doing amazing things and we want to recognize them. They've overcome some challenges. So our youth assistance program is vital to Hamilton Heights. It's supported by the Hamilton County Council and the Hamilton County Commissioners. We really appreciate that. Marion Haymaker does a phenomenal job and uh, we're really proud of, of the work she does, but also really proud of the, what happens with our kids when they get that little extra bump and assistance from our youth assistance program. Number two, uh, we, we talk a lot about our Husky Heroes, our Education Foundation and the Bowen family uh, awards Husky Heroes every month. And we're really proud of Nikki Wirt. She's our elementary counselor at one of our two elementary counselors at Hampton Heights Elementary School. Nikki's been with us for um, several years now and she does great things for her kids, really supports them emotionally, but also um, helps, uh, helps them academically because of that emotional support. So thanks a lot, Nikki Wirt, congratulations. Number three, we've talked about this dude a couple different times, but Will Monin, eighth grader at uh, the Hamilton Heights Middle School, finishing up his Eagle Project. He's actually going to start the work on his Eagle Project on our cross-country course. Really proud of Will, but he's also doing a GoFundMe page. So um, we're going to try to flash up the, the GoFundMe page to do that to support his Eagle Scout Project. Will Monin, great kid, doing great things. You're going to read about him because he's a really good runner, too, and he's investing his time in his Eagle Scoutness in improving the Hampton Heights High School and Middle School Cross Country course. Number four, Mrs. Beach, it wouldn't be a monthly update without a Mrs. Beachler update. She's in it again. This time, uh, she was named as one of the Indianapolis Colts classroom quarterback finalists. So um, there's some money involved. There's a visit from some Colts, maybe even the Colts mascot dude. But uh, Mrs. Beachler does great things, and she was nominated to her surprise for doing her great work at the middle school as our media specialist. So really proud of Mrs. Beachler. And again, she gets more accolades, which makes her look great, but it makes Hampton Heights Middle School look even better. So congratulations to, to Mrs. Beachler. Uh, number five, I don't know, teach one to lead one. It's been happening at Hampton Heights for several years. We do it at both the middle school and the high school. Teach One to Lead One is a life skills program where we teach kids character traits to focus on. Uh, we go through that program. It's a 12 to 16 week program. This year we did it at both the middle school and the high school. One of the things that every kid, and we, this year we did it for every fifth grader and every ninth grader, every kid had to complete a service project. So we work really closely with IDES in Noblesville. Uh, it's a disaster relief organization that sends packaged foods across the world. And our students went and packed uh, pack bags both at IDES in Noblesville, and then IDES came to us and we packed bags here too. So really proud of our Teach One to Lead Run program. Whitney Gray was really instrumental in getting that started. Mr. Bailey's been really instrumental in getting that in the middle school. Next year we'll do um, both classes at the middle school, and I'm honored to get to teach one of those classes every week on Thursdays, and it's one of the best parts of my week, other than cheering on Chance during um, his, his track meets. Uh, number four, five, six, I don't know, Drew Hilton is a Hampton Heights sophomore 
Um, he finished Axe last year. Axe is a chance to serve. It's sponsored by the Hamlin County 4-H Extension Office. And Drew won the big award. They give one award at every kid, every freshman school, so all six public schools and Garen in Hamlin County, send kids to the Axe program. They each send about 10 kids that have been identified as leaders. Drew was one of ours. And then out of all those, all those kids, they give an award for one kid for being the leader amongst the leaders. This year, the 2024 winner, Nancy Herndon Award, who helped start the program, a chance to serve ACT program, Drew Hilton. Really proud of Drew. Drew is third and fourth generation Hamilton Ice Husky. Um, his grandfather worked here for a long time. Um, his mom and dad are great people. So really proud of Drew doing great things. Um, and finally, we do a thing at the high school every month where we give out, uh, we call them um, coffee awards. Uh, coffee awards and we give those awards to kids that we catch doing good things. So this bunch is an outstanding bunch of kids doing great things. Um, Landon Rich, Cy Collier, Shamar Stapleton, Sam Harfum, Morgan Ottinger, Cassie Shakel, and Adeline Johnson. Not pictured are Katie Herbert, um, who's I think in, uh, I saw her wandering around here a second ago. Um, Esther Martin and Christopher and Christian Harville. So great kids doing great things. They get caught doing great things. We reward them at our high school. Really proud to be superintendent of Hamilton High School Corporation, especially proud that in a couple weeks we'll be graduating about 170 teachers, or 170 students, including my friend Chance. So um, looking forward to that. That's the celebration of the year for us because our kids going off to do great things is what we're all about. My name is Derek Carrollwood. I'm honored to be the superintendent of Hamilton High School Corporation. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.